from the Grenadian capital, this is the GBN Television News. GBN, covering you from the Grenadine Island chain to Brooklyn, New York, via the World Wide Web on www.gbn.gd. The news headlines comes to your compliments. Nexa Credit Union, with you wherever your road leads. From the Grenadian capital, this is Network News for Thursday, November 7, 2024. In the headlines, Grenada's investment migration agencies due diligence standards to be adopted by regional independent body. Grenada monitoring circulation of chikungunya and Zika viruses. Sue Ann Crawford is the first recipient of government's Build Back Better model house. Also in the news, regionally, Sedema raises concern about communication during severe weather systems. Internationally, Germany's coalition collapses after Chancellor Fass minister. Plus in the sports news, West Indies clinched one day international series over England with dominant chase led by Carty and King Hundreds. Thanks for joining us. Welcome. The first segment of the news comes to you compliments. Soft weave, bathroom tissue. Have you heard about the new soft weave bathroom tissue with Total Hygiene? As hygiene and safety have taken center stage, a bathroom tissue is now manufactured with three different technologies to offer the best protection for you and your family. UVC light technology for a safe and effective disinfection process, eliminating 99.9% .9 of microorganisms. Also, production at high temperatures, killing all types of germs and bacteria. And it's pH controlled with delicate fibers to prevent irritation for even sensitive skin. Soft Weave Total Hygiene Bathroom Tissue. Available in supermarkets and shops island-wide. Visit Soft Weave Caribbean Facebook or Instagram pages for more information. With the details, I'm Kenroy Batiste. Global migration experts and officials gathered in Grenada for the annual Investment Migration Roundtable Conference. They explored the evolving landscape of investment migration and its regulatory future as part of their deliberations on Thursday. Rena Ped Thomas reports. The annual Investment Migration Around the Table Conference was held under the theme Investment Migration, a Regulatory Push, held in the Crown Ballroom of Radisson's Grenada Beach Resort. The event was a collaborative initiative by the Grenada Cooperative Bank Limited and the Investment Migration Agency Grenada IMA. The conference brought together industry stakeholders, government representatives, and prominent guest speakers to discuss ways to strengthen and sustain Grenada's citizenship by investment program, a key contributor to the nation's economy. In his keynote address, Prime Minister Dickon Mitchell announced that the due diligence standards of Grenada's IMA program would be adopted by a newly formed regional independent body that will oversee all investment migration programs in the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, OECS. To harmonizing the regulatory space within the OECS, and perhaps it's because we further south, uh, the foundation has been laid in Grenada, and it is upon that foundation that all OECS member states who are in the investment migration industry have committed to harmonizing the regulatory space of the investment migration industry and to creating a singular regulatory entity that will regulate the space within the OECS. And we have already named persons from each of the islands to serve as or to serve on the initial uh, preparatory body that will create the regulatory institution to regulate the investment migration industry. He emphasized the importance of implementing policies that foster transparency within the program while ensuring regulations remains flexible enough to attract investors. 
So while a certain level of tight regulation is necessary to maintain transparency and accountability, it is crucial to avoid overregulation that can stifle growth and innovation. And I would say more importantly, bad application of the regulation that is inconsistent, that lacks transparency, and that is unpredictable. But at the same time, by carefully managing the investment you target and the investors you receive, the government can, in fact, double down and redouble the efforts of making their countries attractive for the type of investors that you want. Prime Minister Mitchell also highlighted a 500% increase in applications to the IMA over the past five years, underscoring the program's growth and impact. In the case of Grenada, by way of example, over the past five years, the number of applicants or applications submitted to the IMA has increased by roughly 500%. 500%. This therefore shows that there is proven demand for global mobility. Revenue earned through the program has grown exponentially within this period. But also importantly, the denial rate for process applications has actually increased. The conference concluded with a renewed commitment to strengthening Grenada's investment migration framework, ensuring its continued success and global competitiveness. Rena Pet Thomas, GBN News. Now, preliminary results from Caribbean Public Health Agency Medical Microbiology Laboratory, CAFA CMML, have confirmed the presence of chikungunya and Zika in Grenada. Chikungunya, Chick V, and Zika are two vector borne viruses transmitted mainly by the Aedes aegypti mosquito. Healthcare providers first became aware of the viruses in circulation through the Epidemiology Surveillance Bulletin issued by the Ministry of Health for the period October 21 to 27. Since May 2023, Grenada has been experiencing a significant rise in dengue fever, which is also transmitted through the Aedes aegypti mosquito. The Epidemiology Surveillance Report also showed that in addition to Zika, dengue and chikungunya viruses other viruses circulating in Grenada, including the COVID-19 virus, influenza A, H1N1, influenza A, H3N2, rhinovirus, adenovirus, para-influenza 3, and respiratory syncytial virus, RSV. The Grenada Broadcasting Network made several attempts to contact government's health officers for a response to this report. However, our attempts proved futile. Other news, Minister for Climate Resilience, the Environment and Renewable Energy, Karine James, was elected by the parties to the Montreal Protocol on substances that deplete the ozone layer. As the president of the Bureau for the 36th meeting of the parties, which concluded in Bangkok, Thailand on Friday. Beverly Telesford tells us more. As president of the Bureau, Minister James played an essential role in facilitating the deliberations and decisions of the Montreal Protocol and steered efforts to protect and restore the ozone layer through policies on phasing out ozone-depleting substances and advancing energy-efficient, low global warming potential alternatives. She was also responsible for leading meetings, coordinating with the Protocol's technical and scientific bodies, and developing consensus among the Protocol's 198 member states to address evolving challenges challenges related to climate change and ozone depletion. Minister James's presidency also presented an opportunity for her to highlight Grenada's achievements in implementing Montreal Protocol initiatives. Over the 
the last year, Grenada has made remarkable progress towards these goals. We have enhanced the capacity of over 200 stakeholders, including technical and regulatory personnel, to support the effective management and reduction of refrigerants. Our scholarship program for students pursuing H HVAC training also signals our commitment to fostering the next generation of skilled professionals in sustainable cooling solutions. Grenada is also proud to stand at the forefront of promoting natural refrigerants as viable alternatives to high GWP gases, contributing to global climate resilience and setting a benchmark in the Caribbean. Minister James's appointment is a significant milestone for both youth and female representation in global environmental leadership. This also falls in line with the equitable technical training being made available for men as well as women in Grenada. In alignment with Grenada's commitment to inclusivity and sustainable development, we have mainstreamed gender and youth inclusion across our Montreal Protocol initiatives. Recognizing the vital contribution of women and young people to environmental stewardship, our programs actively promote equitable opportunities in training, capacity building, and decision-making processes. The Montreal Protocol on Substances that Deplete the Ozone Layer is a global agreement to protect the Earth's ozone layer by phasing out the chemicals that deplete it. Reporting for GBN News, Beverly Tellisford. Well, the Build Back Better project represents a forward-thinking approach to recovery, ensuring that new homes are built more resilient to future natural hazards. A set of keys was presented to a family in the south of the island, the first recipient under the Build Back Better project. More in this, Rena Ped Thomas report. A thank you to the government of Grenada and to the Minister of Implement Implementation for allowing me this beautiful home for my small family and I. I truly appreciate it and I tell you we will surely take good care of it. Once again I say thank you. Recipient of the full set of keys to the Build Back Better model house in Grand Dance Housing Scheme, Ms. Suan Crawford. The presentation was made by permanent secretary in the Ministry of Mobilization implementation and transformation Nicole Clark Gully at a special ceremony held on Wednesday delivering remarks Miss Clark Gully said these are not just buildings but rather fortresses of hope and symbols of a future where our communities can thrive without fear today as we hand over the keys to this model home we know that we are not merely passing a set of keys we are handing over safety, stability, and renewed promise of hope. We are providing a foundation upon which families can rebuild their lives, creating memories and dream again without the persistent shadow of devastation looming over them. Make no mistake, this initiative addresses not only the need for resilience infrastructure, but also champions our environmental goals. These Build Back Better Houses represent a significant step towards rebuilding communities affected by Hurricane Barrel. The Build Back Better pilot project was made possible with assistance from local engineers, an initiative aimed at providing hurricane-resistant housing throughout Grenada, Karakou, and P.T. Martinique, with primary focus on those affected by Hurricane Barrel. The model houses measuring 27 by 22 feet, being built with a wooden structure reinforced by a concrete frame and designed to enhance resilience by stabilizing the roofing and overall structure. As its essence, the Build Back Better project is about much more than merely bricks and mortar. It's about laying down secure foundations for families that will stand the test of time and nature. This project was designed with a mission to ensure that families in Grenada, Karakou, and Pitimatnik not only have homes, but have homes that can withstand the fiercest of, st of storms that may come our way. The pilot project was executed in two parishes, St. George and St. Patrick. The target is to construct at least 80 houses per month. Christina John, GBN News.
This is Network News still ahead from us. Foodland Market Square celebrates 50 years. Back in a moment. At Ariza, we find ways to celebrate you. Little wins or bigger ones. Working hard and staying on track. Meet your need while saving for your dreams with our Chairs to You loan. Get up to $50,000 repayable in up to 10 years and benefit from a lump sum saving when the loan is repaid. Live those dreams, follow those steps, take that leap of faith, or invest in yourself. Make a toast, lift a glass, cheers to you. Join today and apply. Arise Credit Union, your financial freedom, your future. Good day, Mr. James. I'm just here looking at Grenlake's new mobile app. Sounds great. Can I use it to check my bill balance? Absolutely. Let me show you. Enter your account number and Grenlick access number, and that's it. You can now check your balance, track your usage, receive outage alerts, and get updates from Grenlick in real time. You can even use the app to report a power outage or a fault with a pole or street light. Add as many accounts as you want. Track your business account, apartment rentals, and Granny's account, all in one convenient place. Thanks, Susan. I'll be telling everyone I know about Grenlick's new app. The Grenlick Mobile App. Download for 24-7 access. Paying is faster and easier with Blow Fast Pay. Use your MasterCard or Visa and pay from anywhere. Log on to discoverflow.co slash fastpay and press consumer. Select your country and enter your account number. Enter the amount to be paid and an email address. Enter your credit card information. You'll receive a payment confirmation with the transaction details. Along with a receipt to your email address. It's fast, safe, and easy. Blow, keeping you connected. There goes my new car. I guess I'm back on my bike. Your bike? CG United offers new car replacement. Remember my monster truck days? Well, one night, I attempted a 50-foot pogo double backflip. I landed it and went to karaoke. It wasn't until afterward that my car got hit by that fisherman. He gave me some great mahi-mahi, though. Anyway, they paid fast and got me in a new car. Now, call the cab. I want you to meet my alpaca guy. <laughs> new car replacement for the first year of ownership. CG United. Good like that. Building or renovating your home or business? Why not use clean, renewable energy? Install solar panels to power your home and office and see your energy costs go down and your savings go up. Using renewable, solar-powered energy protects our environment, reduces our carbon footprint, and slows the devastating impact of climate change. Republic Bank can help to finance construction and renovations that make use of renewable energy. Visit any Public Bank branch and ask about renewable energy financing options today. Republic Bank, we're the one for you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the top 16 in the 14th edition of the Karim YT Super Knockout. This weekend, we head to the Mont Rouge playing field for two days of football action. Saturday, November 9th from 7 p.m. Game 1 on Lace Authentic Sneaker Store SAFL versus Blast FC. Game 2, FC Camahorn versus Paradise FC Youth. Then on Sunday, November 10th, Game 1, Crowlow FC versus Hillsborough Town FC. And in game two, Quartz Ready Cash, Queens Park Rangers versus Fontenoy United. Admission on both days, $25. Live drummers, Carib Girls, and lots of giveaways. Don't miss it. The 14th edition of the Carib Waggity Super Knockout is on. Don't miss a game.
international support group, ISG, your company of choice. You have a problem with mold? We're the company to call. ISG provides quality commercial janitorial services. We also focus on preventative maintenance, making sure that your building keeps functioning as it should. With ISG, you will have a peace of mind knowing that all your service needs are carried out by a quality, efficient, and friendly team of technicians. ISG is dedicated to industrial professionalism, safety, and exceptional customer satisfaction. Call us today at 473-410-5886 or email us at info at isg-grenada.com. to all of us, low on cash and in need of money right away. Play Insta Cash Monday to Sunday and there are no draws. So what are you saying? No numbers to choose from? Nope. And no draw sessions to wait on? Nope. And we can play it anytime and any day? Yep. Including Sundays. Insta Cash. Ask for it by name and choose from a wide variety of games as low as $2 and win instantly. It is fast, it is easy to play, and you win cash right away. Must be 18 years or older to play. NLA, making your dreams come true. If you're working for a while, come by Cots and make you smile. Cots Black Friday, come around. We are the best prizes in town. Black Friday starts now at Cots. Yeah, it's back. Cots Black Friday. Traffic on the highway. You know we got unbeatable prices. And furniture, electronics, and appliances. Are you coming? Say yeah, yeah, yeah. Weekly prices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Biggest and best deals of this season. Shop and credit to win big, big. And bet nothing until next year, February. Rock out and come down to court. Cuts are ready, load. Cuts are ready, load. Black Friday's back. Cuts are ready, load. And go. When Black Friday come out. GBN leads, the others follow. This segment is brought to you by Republic Bank. Building or renovating your home or business? Why not use clean, renewable energy? Install solar panels to power your home and office and see your energy costs go down and your savings go up. Using renewable, solar-powered energy protects our environment, reduces our carbon footprint, and slows the devastating impact of climate change. Republic Bank can help to finance construction and renovations that make use of renewable energy. Visit any Republic Public Bank branch and ask about renewable energy financing options today. Republic Bank, we're the one for you. Back at Television Center, scammers continue to use artificial intelligence to up the ante on their efforts to scam internet users. Grenada's National Cybersecurity Incident Response Team, CSERT, together with the Royal Grenada Police Force, is urging Grenadians to boost their ability to identify scams, especially those asking them to claim their winnings, such as lottery and sweepstakes. With these types of rip-offs, scammers trick their victims into thinking they have won a big prize in a fake contest. In most cases, the scammers will ask for money, personal information, and other valuable material, claiming it's necessary to receive the prize. Woman Police Constable Antonia Coutain, attached to the Community Relations Department of the RGPF, shared a number of ways to identify scams of that nature. So, first and foremost, you have to pay attention to whether or not you are actually involved in what is being offered. Okay. A lot of the times, persons receive the opportunity to win an iPhone or a tablet, and they've never participated in a draw, they've never participated in a competition, but all of a sudden, they're the winner of something. So that should be your very first um, point to note that, hey, I did not participate in this, so how can I be chosen as a winner? Mm -hmm. you you also have to look at, and yes, we did speak about the faulty spellings. We did speak about the offers being too good to be true. 
Jervis Dabrio, ICT officer attached to the Grenada National Sea Cert, highlighted one of the tricks scammers use, creating a false sense of urgency, which prevents victims from reading through schemes thoroughly. Well, there are seven techniques that are used by um, cyber criminals, and one of them, as pointed out by Officer Kutin, is urgency, <laughs> right? Because they want you to do before you get to think or before you get to ask anybody. So once there is this push um, to, to have you act um, before you get any opportunity to, to, to really assess it, um, that is when you need to stop. We, we tell children this, if somebody, an adult or anybody walks up to you and say hey don't tell mommy and uh, or daddy mm -hmm. about this we tell them that is when you have to tell mommy and daddy True. right and it's the same sort of thing when they tell you act now this is when you need to stop and take a I'm pause thinking, thinking and about, assess thinking. it in the aftermath of Hurricane Beryl, the Climate Smart Agriculture and Rural Enterprise Development Program, SIEP Grenada, committed to strengthening food security in communities. The first batch of 10 farmers is participating in the Climate Smart Agriculture and Rural Enterprise Development Program Backyard Gardening Initiative. We have more in this Christina John report. SIP has rolled out its backyard gardening program, and the first batch of 10 farmers in St. Patrick have received backyard kits to kickstart their sustainable farming journey. Head of the Rural Development Unit and Project Coordinator, Dr. Stephen Fletcher, explained that the Backyard Gardening Initiative aims to improve access to nutritious foods. Focus on you in this special program because we have other programs in which we provide support to persons with larger lots of land. But in your case, the focus is specifically on assisting you to feed your household. It's what we call part of our nutritional security, ensuring that you have some food that you can step in the backyard, pick some cucumbers, pick some lettuce, and feed yourselves. We also understand very clearly that this area in particular, as most of Grenada has been experiencing, there are climatic changes that are taking place. Today, the sun is very hot. Tomorrow, it's rain. The seasons are changing very rapidly on us. And therefore, we sought to address this matter by providing you with a little measure of irrigation support. And this is by giving you a hose that can allow you to reach your plants or to fill containers that you can then use later. And that is important because we got to ensure that as much as possible, you have some measure of months or year-long food that you can reach to. So that is, that is very important for us. The backyard kits include hand tools, seeds, seedlings, and compost, all designed to promote climate smart and resilient farming practices. Minister for Economic Development and Planning, Agriculture and Lands, Forestry, Fisheries, and Marine Resources, Lennox Andrew, encourage beneficiaries to take care of the plants received. They all get towards ensuring that they have a happier life, that you don't have to spend too much money to buy certain food items. You can produce them yourselves and you're sure you know what you're eating when you produce yourself. Very healthy food. Good. You may have enough that you may want to share with your neighbor. So don't be afraid to share with your neighbor. You were given a, a crash course, if I may say, on how to take care of them. Good theory, I myself, from the time I was there, I would have learned a few good things I didn't know about our cultural science. So I want to thank Mr. Edwards for that. And I ask you to put these things into, in, into practice. The target group for the Climate Smart Agriculture Backyard Gardening Initiative includes backyard and home garden farmers with less than half an acre of land within rural communities, single parents, unemployed persons, and the elderly. The total 68 backyard gardeners across St. George, St. Andrew, St. Mark, St. Patrick, St. John, and St. David, and Caracou and Petey Martinique will receive gardening kits worth $1,500 each to help support food and nutrition security. Beneficiaries will be trained in the essentials of bucket gardening and will be provided with support. 
Christina John, GBN News. Foodland Supermarket is celebrating 50 years of serving Grenadians, Foodland Market Square. The milestone is being celebrated with exciting giveaways and promotions. Rina Ped Thomas is going to tell us about that. Celebrating its 50th anniversary this month, Foodland Supermarket, located next to the St. George's Market Square, is marking this significant milestone with a series of giveaways and promotion for its loyal customers. To kick off the celebrations, a special media launch was held in the supermarket's parking lot to introduce the lineup of activities planned for the month. Raphael Lewis, brand manager at Foodland Supermarket, announced that the festivities will begin with a church service this Sunday. We have a car park sale happening on Friday the 15th and that's for customers to get some discounts to pick up your early Christmas shopping. So this event will be collaborated with the entire of the Huggins Park. Additionally, on the anniversary day itself, we have a deal or no deal promotion where you have the chance to choose between $50 or a hidden price. So you can walk away with a big ticket item like maybe a flat screen TV just to name a few and we also have our golden ticket promotions running throughout the day so most of our customers will be leaving the supermarket on that day with a price and on Wednesday and Thursday that's the 20th and 21st we'll be hosting our social media promotions where you can win vouchers hampers so you have to stay tuned in order to know the celebration will culminate on November 22nd with live band music and entertainment at the supermarket Market. Ania Chow Chong, General Manager of Huggins Grenada, reflected on Foodland's legacy, stating that for 50 years, the supermarket has been committed to delivering quality service to generations of Grenadians and continuously strive to improve. So especially within the last five years, it's been a rough journey. We have had some service failures, which we are fever feverishly addressing. Customer service, it is our hallmark at Huggins, and we have to ensure that we are top of our game here at Foodland Market Square, because very soon we're going to have Foodland Melville Street across the road. So we need to have everything top-notch for our customers. And um, the second thing I'm very excited to announce is that on the 1st of March 2020, we will be launching a revolutionary customer loyalty program. So we know that our customers have been clamoring for loyalty program. It's coming, and it's coming with a few exciting innovations, which I know the customers will appreciate. So please bear patience with us a bit more. Our commitment is to keep our prices, to hold our prices. Kamisha Hayes, a store manager of Foodland Market Square, expressed gratitude to customers for their unwavering support over the years, emphasizing that their loyalty and contribution are always appreciated. Um, Foodland Market Square opened its doors on November 19, 1974. So we're 50 years in the business, 50 years strong, 50 years going. This is a time where we're also celebrating Christmas a bit early, so you'll come down and see a lot of decorations already up harangue music playing and we continue to be your family's favorite food store supplying the entire heart of town thank you to all our loyal customers for your uh, contributions over the past 50 years for your loyalty to us and we look forward to serving you in the coming year thank you thank you to all the celebration promises to be a memorable tribute to Foodland's enduring commitment to the Grenadian public. Rena Pet Thomas, GBN News. Congratulations, Foodland Market Square. Still to come from us, Prime Minister Deacon Mitchell addresses the opening of a three-day digital retreat involving digital technology. Tourism is me. Tourism is you, tourism is everybody, and tourism connects us all. Did you know that tourism generates revenue and foreign exchange earnings? Did you know it stimulates infrastructural development and facilitates cultural exchange among people? You must know tourism is linked to all industries. From agriculture to construction. So support the industry today and be welcoming to all our visitors. Tourism is my business, tourism is your business, tourism is our business.
A message from the Ministry of Tourism and the Grenada Tourism Authority. Whether sipped neat, mixed into a classic cocktail, or savored on the rocks, our rum delivers a taste that captivates and satisfies. Choose greatness, choose class good, the number one rum. Produced by the Grenada Distillers Limited. So it begins, a journey like none other. Every moment has the potential to be unforgettable. Bring home a piece of the tropical green forest with every emerald. Capture the sparkling light of flawless water in a diamond. Make the sunrise and sunsets last forever. With precious colored gemstones, the essence of happiness is in our most precious memories. So, when it all comes to an end, bring home something that will last forever. Colombian Emeralds International. Bring home more than a memory. Christmas is all about the moments we share. The smiles, the laughter, and the love that fills our homes. This season, let your walls reflect the warmth of family time. Sissons Paid, match with every shade of togetherness. Celebrate 12 weeks of Christmas with Sissons. Buy one, get one 30% off on selected items. And with every purchase of any Sissons Paint, you get a chance to win US $100 every week for 12 weeks, from October 1st to December 22nd. Terms and conditions apply. Available at all Sissons hardware dealers nationwide. Sissons, internationally tested, brilliantly affordable. Is giving you more chances to multiply your playway winnings by adding multi X to your regular playway bets to win up to five times more. Imagine winning as much as $1,200 instead of $240 with a $10 playway bet by simply adding multi X. Place your playway bets from $1 to $10 or in increments on your favorite playway symbols or numbers. Then add the multi X option at the same value to win two times, three times, five times times more or free plays with multi x you must bet the same amount wagered on your regular playway bets for your winnings to be multiplied grenadians value your dreams and win your way as much as five times more with multi x added to playway and watch your money grow must be 18 years or older to play nla making your dreams come true are you looking for a reliable affordable and customer friendly pharmacy Look no further than Hills and Valley Pharmacy, the nation's leading healthcare products and services provider. We are committed to serving you at convenient locations. Find an extensive and affordable selection of prescription and over-the-counter drugs and medical supplies at Church Street, Hillsborough, Caracou, Jubilee Street, Grenville, St. Andrew, near the bus terminal, and Halifax and Grenville Street, St. George. Our committed team is always available to offer valuable assistance for managing your health and wellness. Discover the additional benefits of our wholesale distribution on Halifax Street and our Medgar Center on Grenville Street where we provide in-house physiotherapy, massage therapy, doctor consultations and eye care services. Our commitment is to satisfy all your healthcare needs including competitive prices, loyalty rewards and special discounts for seniors. Contact us at 435-6904 and WhatsApp 535-4734. Choose Hills and Valley Pharmacy. Remember, your health is our business. level of convenience and comfort awaits you when you shop at Rise and Shine Supermarket and Hardware Supplies, Griffin Lane, Grenville. Convenient, because we are open Sunday to Sunday. We're even at your service on public holidays. Comfort, because we are easily accessible to the physically challenged. Free Wi-Fi is available while you shop, and bags come at no charge. Everyday low prices and excellent customer care. Adequate parking available. We supply 
everything you can possibly think of. Family and home supplies, fresh meat, vegetables, and personal care products. All brands of cooking gas at affordable prices. You can send in your order, have it pulled, or pick up express. This is GBN. We've got the means, the power, and the medium. Welcome back. A three-day digital retreat underway in Grenada is inviting participants to explore the transformative potential of digital technology for the country. The retreat has been held under the theme, Architecting Grenada's Digital Future, and focuses on establishing the foundations for a digital vision, with stakeholders sharing their insights and setting priority goals for a digitally empowered Howard Grenada through collaborative discussions. The group aims to identify key sectors for strategic focus and craft a unified digital roadmap. Prime Minister Deacon Mitchell, who delivered remarks at the retreat, emphasized the need for impactful strategies, especially within the education sector. He said, and I quote, if that doesn't happen, technology will still be a token approach. Technology has the capacity to transform our society and enhance the lives and livelihoods of our citizens. The Prime Minister underscored the government's role in enabling creativity and talent to flourish and visioning the digital space as a thriving economic landscape for Grenadians. Joining the retreat virtually, Sim Sikert of Digital Nation, who is known for leading Estonia's digital transformation, shed in insights into their journey. This retreat is a concentrated effort to align government initiatives, industry innovation, and public services in pursuit of meaningful digital advancement for Grenada. We'll be back to report the sports news. and presently, customers have been winning exciting prizes while ensuring that benefits are realized for all Grenadians by supporting the games of the National Lotteries Authority. I am Patrick Simmons, former Minister for Sports and National Athletes. The NLA has made significant investment in nation-building activities. Among them are the construction of health, sporting, cultural, educational, and community facilities. Additionally, they continue to provide funding to non-governmental organizations and individuals throughout the Tri-Island State. I support the NLA's mandate because I can see where the money goes. Playing the games of the NLA guarantees support for sports, culture, and nation building throughout the trial and state of Grenada. Looking to shop online from your favorite stores like Amazon and Sheen? With GPC Global, it's never been easier. Get your very own U.S. address and shop from around the world. With GPC Global, you can order the latest trends and must-have items, all delivered straight to Grenada to your closest post office for your pickup. We offer the cheapest rates, and our service is reliable and quick. No more waiting for weeks for your packages. Your satisfaction is guaranteed. Join the Grenada Postal family today and start shopping smarter. Visit us online at www.grenadapostal.com or call us on 437-POST. That's 437-7678. GPC Global, your gateway to the world. When you need your prescription filled or you require non-prescribed medication, supplements, or all your personal needs, visit Gittins Healthcare at locations on Wall Street Grand Dance, Victoria Street Grand Dance, and Central Deputy Street Wall. Gittins Healthcare aims to provide an exceptional personalized pharmacy experience. Additionally, children under 5 and adults 55 years and over will enjoy 10% discount on purchases of $20 and over on prescription medication. Stop selling Excellent for less. Visit Kittens Healthcare, where your health is our priority.
Sporting fans, good evening. Hosts and defending champions Trinidad and Tobago Red Force move to top of the table in the CG Super, CG United Super 50 Cup with a dominant nine-wicket win over the West Indies Academy at the Sir Frank Worrell Memorial Ground in St. Augustine on Thursday. The Red Force first dismissed the Academy for a subpar 135 of 34.2 overs. After winning the toss and putting them into bat, Yannick Carrier was the pick of the bowlers with 4 for 37 from 8.2 overs and was well supported by fellow spinners Carrie Pear and Brian Charles who took 3 for 14 from 8 overs and 2 for 23 from 7 overs respectively. Joshua Bishop and Rivaldo Clark were the main scorers for the academy with 31 and 30 respectively. We can tell you too the host then needed only 26.1 overs to reach 136 for one and secure their third win in four games. Here's the rest of the point standing. Barbados Pride, 31 points from three games. Leeward Islands, uh, 27. Leeward Islands Hurricanes, 27 from four games. Guyana Happy Eagles, 25 points from four games. Jamaica Scorpions, 20 points from three games, West Indies Academy, 16 points from four games, Windward Islands Volcanoes, 10 points from three games, and combined campuses and colleges, 10 points from three games. West Indies secured a thrilling eight-wicket victory over England in the third one-day international at Kensington Oval on Wednesday, sealing a 2-1 series win. Powered by centuries from Casey Carty and Brandon King, the hosts chased down England's 263-run target with ease under the floodlights. England, after a rough start that left them reeling at 24-4, rallied to post a competitive 263 for eight, thanks largely to Phil Salt 74 and Dan Mosley uh, uh, inventive 57. In reply, West Indies wasted no time asserting dominance. Brandon King launched into Jofra Archer's first over, slamming consecutive boundaries to set the tone. Although Evan Lewis was dismissed for 19, King and Carty anchored the innings with a record breaking 209 run partnership the highest for West Indies against England in one day international cricket King who benefited from two drop catches reached his third one day international hundred before being bowled for 102 with just 13 runs needed Carty's unbeaten 128 of 97 balls was a maiden one day international century making him the first cricketer for from St. Martin to reach three figures for the West Indies. The win, secured with ample overs to spare, highlighted the potent combination of West Indies ball and strength and the emerging batting prowess of Carty and King, who have undoubtedly set a high standard for the future of Caribbean cricket. Cricket West Indies CWI has announced a landmark six-year media rights agreement with ESPN Caribbean covering the period 2024 to 2030. This deal grants ESPN Caribbean exclusive broadcast and digital rights to all West Indies men's and women's home international matches, as well as the CG United Super 50 Cup for both men's and women's regional tournaments. We can tell you this partnership solidifies ESP and Caribbean's position as the premier destination for West Indies cricket in the region. Under this agreement, CWI retains the right to license post-match highlights on free-to-air and digital platforms throughout the region, ensuring fans have access to additional content during each series and tournament. This partnership brokered with the assistance of CWI's media consultants Pitch International aligns with CWI's strategic objectives to enhance the global visibility of West Indies cricket and deepens fan engagement across the Caribbean. 
That's the sports news for now. Caribbean Disaster Emergency Management Agency, SEDEMA, has raised concerns regarding the failure of communications when the region is impacted by severe weather systems. Executive Director Elizabeth Riley said the situation suggests that countries are yet to learn their lessons on communication. Ms. Riley told the Ivan Plus 20 policy dialogue that several lessons were learned from Hurricane Ivan and its impact on member states. Every time we have events in the region, the first thing that goes is the comms. We speak about the re importance of the redundancy. We talk about going back to the old time HF, VHF, and we do have to fall back on that for basic communication. So if you fast forward now to the barrel situation, you ask the question, were we prepared? The fact of the matter, matter was barrel brought a different dynamic. This is the first time we saw a system of that strength that early ever in the recorded history of the Atlantic Basin. So if all of us are honest, we were not expecting it because it had never happened before. It was one of the first experiences we had where we had multiple territories being significantly impacted and all of the response scenarios within Sedima at that point in time were based on a scenario of single territory impacts and responding to one territory. So what it said to us, and we learned so much from that situation, because after Ivan, we had a major review meeting in the region. It was actually held in Jamaica. And we reviewed everything about Ivan, from the early warning through to read the response, and we revamped things at Sedima. For the field, Germany's governing coalition has collapsed after the chancellor of FAD, a key minister, and said he would call a vote of confidence in his government early next year. The chancellor said he had no trust in the finance minister, who heads the pro-business Free Democrats and has been part of the coalition which shows Social Democrats and the Greens. And that was a scathing attack, wasn't it, by Chancellor Scholz on his own finance minister. That's unprecedented in modern German politics to have a chancellor be so critical, so openly, of one of his own ministers. And I think for a long time now, we've realized this government wasn't going to last the full course. It wasn't quite clear what would happen when the end would come, but I think it has been clear for a while that the end was nigh. And what we've now seen, really, essentially, it's a, a conflict over ideological differences between how to get the German economy going. You have two very different camps within the coalition government, and one of them was led by Chancellor Scholz, his centre-left Social Democrats, supported by the Greens. What they believe, they want to loosen Germany's uh, tough and strict constitutional rules against taking on new debts. They want more borrowing in order to help Ukraine, to get the economy going, to invest in infrastructure. Uh, Chancellor Lindner, uh, um, ex-finance minister now, uh, Christian Lindner, uh, who leads a free market Liberal Party, he has the exact opposite approach. He says, no, you need to cut taxes, you need to limit borrowing, and that's how you're going to get the economy going. And of course, those two positions now appear irreconcilable, and that's essentially why the government has fallen apart, leading a lot of insecurity. But I think there is a feeling here in Germany from a lot of people that the government has become so blocked anyway between these two camps in the, in the coalition that actually... Uh, 
fresh elections, early elections are, in many people's eyes, better because it means that actually there's a solution in sight rather than hobbling on to next September when ordinarily the elections would come because, of course, there are lots of challenges globally for Germany to deal with. So you really need a government that's effective and united in its approach, particularly on the economy. A reminder of the headlines in a moment. before we leave you, Grenada's investment migration agency's due diligence standards to be adopted by a regional independent body. Grenada monitoring circulation of chikungunya and Zika virus. Sue Ann Crawford is the first recipient of government's Build Back Better model home. Also in the news regionally, Sedema raises concern about communication due in severe weather systems. Internationally, Germany's coalition collapses after Chancellor Faz, finance minister. Plus in the sports news, West Indies clinch one day international series over England with dominant chase led by Carty and King Hundreds. I'm Ken Roy Batis. This has been the GBN Television News, Network News. Good night.